Hi guys, so we've got your second upper body session of the week. The dogs are having a little fit here. Uh, your A1 and your A2, so your A1 is push-ups. You're gonna start with a 30 second negative, so from the top of the push-up, 30 seconds taking yourself down to the floor, straight into 10 reps, followed by another 30 second negative, and that is one set. Now the negative and the reps can be performed at different positions, so the negative could be from your knees, the reps could be with your hands up on a bench, uh, and then your A2, you're going to do a pull-up movement. So that's whether you've been doing it from a bar with a band, whether you've been doing it with a towel over a door, whether you've been doing it with rings from a seated position. However you're going to do it, <clears throat> you're going to do as many reps as you can with an 8 to 10 second negative. So it'll probably be, depending on how you're doing it, I'm not sure it's going to be more than about 5 or 6 reps. And that's one set. You're then going to do four sets of A1 and A2. Uh, B, you are going to do press-ups. So you're going to do max reps of press-ups. They can be performed with your hands on a bench, step, Nora, on the floor, from your feet, from your knees. Uh, and then you're going to perform them with a rowing movement where the tempo is going to be what we call contrast tempo. So you're going to do, you perform the first two reps with a six second down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and a three second up, one, two, three, six down, three up. That's two reps performed like that. The following two reps, you do a two second down. So one, two, and a one up. So a quicker uh, two reps. So two slow reps, two fast reps, two slow reps, two fast reps. And you don't really wanna be moving into a rep range higher than about 12 reps, okay? If you're doing single arm row, do it on both arms. If you're doing ring row, do it, obviously do it with both arms at the same time. Not really fuss what type of rowing movement you do there, but do it with that contrast tempo. <laughs> and that's your B1 and B2. You're going to do four sets of B1, B2. C1, you're going to do curls. Again, I'm not too fussed on the variation. I did seated, so I'm here, got my dumbbells. Do 30 second negative like we did with the push-ups into 10 reps into a 30 second negative again um, then moving into the tricep so either here or skull crusher style on the floor but you're going to do 10 second negatives so 10 seconds press up 10 seconds press up um, and you're going to do five reps of that so five reps with a 10 second negative uh, and then we're going to do towel, or if you've got an Aberola, do Aberola uh, towel or Aberola rollouts. Uh, depending on how you're performing it and depending on your ability to perform them, 8, 10, 12, 15 reps. Uh, and then you're going to do three rounds of that C part. C, I don't like saying C section. <laughs> C part C. Okay, here's the demos. <laughs> 